Lady Valerie Targaryen popularly referred to as at the Targaryen Wolf, and Valerie Castle, Valerie is the last surviving daughter of Prince Rhaegar Targaryen by his second wife Lyanna Stark. She is currently the head of the House Targaryen and Lady of Dragonstone following the assassination of her Aunt Queen Daenerys Targaryen and the subsequent exile of her older twin brother Jon Snow. Like her twin brother Aegon, Valerie is also born to both House Targaryen and House Stark. But unlike Jon, Valerie was born with traditional Valyrian features whereas he was born with the traditional Stark features. From infancy, Valerie is presented as the adopted daughter of Roderick Castle. He would take and raise her under the alias Valerie Castle to keep her true parentage and twinship to Jon Snow a secret from everyone, including Jon and Valerie themselves. By separating them at birth it was a ploy set by Lord Eddard Stark to hide their twinship hidden from them, as well as everyone else in Westeros, in order to protect them from those that sought the complete annihilation of House Targaryen after Robert's rebellion and to maintain order in the realm. Initially betrothed to Lord Dorian Lannister, the heir to Casterly Rock. Through him, Valerie becomes well-versed in politics and court intrigue. She is sent back to Winterfell breaking her betrothal to Dorian Lannister, under Lord Eddard Stark's command. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. When the War of the Five Kings and the execution of her father Roderick, she is held hostage by Theon Greyjoy. Under the tutelage of Roose and Xerxes Bolton, while suffering but learning from her traumatic experiences as a hostage of House Bolton and House Greyjoy at Winterfell. After marrying Xerxes Bolton and eventually falling pregnant with his child she finds security through her pregnancy. After the death of her husband, daughter and in-law she becomes a hostage to the new lord, Ramsay Bolton. Under his rule, this forces Valerie to harden as an individual and to become a more capable player of the Game of Thrones rather than a pawn after she learns to manipulate him. She plays her choices smartly and carefully until Jon Snow and Sansa to retake Winterfell from House Bolton, restoring House Stark's dominion over the North. With Sansa becoming Lady of Winterfell, whilst Jon being declared the new king in the North, Valerie learns of her true parentage and learns Jon Snow is actually her older twin brother. After her lineage is revealed to her by Bran, reuniting with Dorian Lannister they decide to go on with their betrothal. They fight in the Battle of Winterfell, protecting Bran, during which the Night King is defeated and the return of the Long Night is prevented. Afterward, Valerie and Dorian spend time where she tells him of all the past trauma she had endured, along with the loss of her first husband and child. During the feast, Valerie announces that she is the daughter of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark, formally earning her the nickname, the Targaryen Wolf. After the conclusion of the Great War and the Battle of King's Landing and following the assassination of Queen Daenerys Targaryen. With Valerie Targaryen who is still adjusting to finding out she is the twin sister to Jon Snow as well as the secret daughter of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. At the Dragon Pit where the meeting of the most powerful people in Westeros gathers to meet. After the banishment of Jon Snow, Electing Bran the Broken as the new king of Westeros, Sansa keeping Winterfell as its own separate kingdom. Valerie is named Valerie Targaryen Lady Paramount of Dragonstone, the Targaryen Wolf, as well the dragon with the blood of the wolf. Dragonstone Island is once again under control of House Targaryen. After the conclusion of the Great War and the Battle of King's Landing, during the meeting of the Great Houses, in regards of Jon Snow, Sansa allows Dorian to marry Valerie beneath the weirwood tree. Soon after she gives birth to Princess Elena Lannister and Prince Balerion Targaryen. Eighteen years before the War of Five Kings, Crown Rhaegar Targaryen allegedly abducted Lyanna Stark of Winterfell in a scandal that would lead to the outbreak of Robert's rebellion. Rhaegar would eventually return to fight in the war, but not before leaving Lyanna behind at the Tower of Joy, guarded by Lord Commander Gerald Hightower and Sir Arthur Dane of the King's Guard. Lord Eddard Stark, Lyanna's brother, rode to war along with her betrothed, Robert Baratheon, to rescue his sister and avenge the deaths of their father and brother on the orders of Rhaegar's father, the Mad King Aerys II. 
Robert would ultimately kill Rieger at the Battle of the Trident, effectively ensuring their victory in the war. After the sack of King's Landing, Ned continued south in search of his sister and ultimately found her at the Tower of Joy in the Red Mountains at the border of Dorne. Ned and his companions engaged in a final fierce melee with the remaining Targaryen Kingsguard, which resulted in the deaths of all combatants save Ned himself and Howland Reed. After defeating the last of the Kingsguard, Ned rushed into the tower to save his sister, only to find Lyanna dying from childbirth, having just given birth to Rieger's own twin son and daughter. Desperate to protect the life of her newborn children, a fading Lyanna pleaded with Ned to promise her that he would keep her children safe, and their true heritage hidden from Robert as he had been Rieger's most bitter enemy. Furthermore, the twins' existence were going to be a potential threat to Robert's claim to the Iron Throne after the deaths of Rieger's other children, Rhaenys and Aegon, by his wife Elia Martell, who also perished, during the sack of King's Landing. In accordance with her last wish, Ned resolved to pass Lyanna's son off as his own bastard and raise him in his home castle, a great blow to his honor as he knew that his decision would shame both himself and his lady wife, Caitlin Tully. And when he noticed the girl's white hair he knew he wouldn't be able to hide or explain his niece's Valyrian appearance he adopts her knowing this is the only way to save her because he knows that Robert is no fool and will see that she is in fact a Targaryen. He knew he would need to hide her but yet keep her close to keep an eye on her, he would have Roderick Castle take Lyanna's daughter and have him raise her already knowing that her hair would already raise suspicions, for her hair will make her stick out among his true-born children if he decided her would have taken her, so giving her to Roderick Castle would help secure her safety. Keeping their twinship a secret from the two. Unlike the rest of Rieger's children, she takes after his Targaryen appearance with the classical Valyrian features. She is described as a surpassingly beautiful child and has also been called a delicate beauty when she came into adulthood. She is noted to be the most beautiful Targaryen and Valyrian woman to roam the world. She has been noted to be even more beautiful than her Aunt Daenerys. She has her father's sparkling purple eyes, only hers are more seductive in nature. She has long silver gold hair that falls to her tailbone in waves. Her skin is unblemished and soft to the touch as well as light beige in appearance that looks beautiful with her silver hair. She is a tad bit shorter than Danny. she is gifted with a slender and rather curvaceous, hourglass-shaped figure, she has a large bust. She holds her own beauty and is said to be even more beautiful than her mother and aunt combined. She meets Jamie Lannister by accident and he becomes somewhat infatuated with her, recounting Valerie's beauty to surpass any woman alive and perhaps surpass his own twin sisters. Dorian can't think of a woman more beautiful than Valerie, for years he never took a lover not risking fathering children. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.